Hello everyone, welcome to another ranking video. Today I'll be doing a ranking of the Purge movies. Um, it's been a while since I've done a ranking, I think, hasn't it? Um, and yeah, I just felt like uh, doing one for this series would be appropriate since I just watched all of the movies. Like, I marathoned all of them pretty much, binged them, whatever you want to say. Um, because, you know, I think it was almost two weeks ago, yeah, that I uh, bought all four on the new uh, 4K Steelbooks that came out of Best Buy. Um, with the new, you know, the first Purge release. Um, so I kind of splurged on these movies without, you know, seeing them beforehand. So, yeah, um, I marathoned all four of them. And I gotta say, I enjoyed the majority of it. Um, out of the four movies, I love three of them. Well, I don't love... Okay, let me rephrase that. Um, I think three of them are good, and I think one of them is bad. Like, really bad. I'm gonna get to that in a second. Um, but, uh, yeah, it's only four movies right now. Um, and, uh, yeah, so, like I said, I'm, I just marathoned all of them. Um, I think one, in particular, my number one choice is very rewatchable, very fun movie. And one, in particular, is not good. Let's get right into it. So, coming in at fourth place, this might be a surprise to some people, is the first movie, um, The Purge, the first movie. Um, this may surprise people, like I said. So, okay, I assume everyone who's seen this movie already knows what I'm going to talk about. I've already looked this up, and it is a thing. Everyone who's seen this movie hates the sun, okay? You already know You already knew this, where this was going. Oh, and by the way, um, this video is going to probably have spoilers for every movie, so you might not want to watch it if you haven't seen them. But if you don't care, whatever. But anyways, um, in this movie, um, everyone knows... The sun is so, so, so stupid. I've seen a lot of movies in my life, and I gotta say, the sun in this movie is the dumbest character I've seen in any movie. That's how frustrating... Okay. I, I really wanted to pull my hair out when I was watching this movie. I'm not even kidding. The rest of the movie's okay. The rest of the characters are okay. And I understand, for plot reasons, you need to have the sun be an idiot. Um... The daughter's kind of idiotic at points. The wife is kind of idiotic. And by the way, I was surprised that uh, Ethan Hawke was in this movie. I, I don't know why I didn't expect that. I'm not saying he's like a major actor or anything like that, but this is kind of a low-budget movie, and I was surprised he was in this. And also, Lena Headey from Game of Thrones was the wife. Um, I was surprised that both of them were in this, but especially Ethan Hawke. I, I was just really surprised by that. Anyways, um... Now, I understand the movie's low budget, so the first movie is typically, or, or the first movie in a series is typically small in scale, and then as the movies progress, they get bigger in scale. So with this movie, they started off with the Purge series. Okay, here's the Purge premise, blah, blah, blah. What's going to happen if somebody, if there's people in a house, and then something happens, and then people are trying to break in? So I get that, why they did the first movie with that premise, where it's like a, you know, a survival kind of thing. You know, people trying to survive in their home. It's like a home invasion movie. That's fine. And I understand there's got to be a scenario to where the people, they can get access to the inside of the house. But the sun is so stupid. Like, the decisions that character made were, like I said, so frustrating that I wanted to pull my hair out. So first off, he lets the guy in, um, who ends up becoming, you know, a good character, actually, in the sequels. But uh, I understand the moral of the movie. He lets the homeless man, who's being targeted by a bunch of perjurers, into the house. Dumb decision number one. And like I said, I understand at the end of the movie, he actually saves the family's life. So that's fine. That's all well and good. I can forgive that first part. But then, later on in the movie, the son helps the homeless man hide in his house. And if the homeless man doesn't get out of their house... And, and he isn't delivered to the perjurers... The perjurers are going to kill the entire family. So, why would the son help this man? And like I, I said, I understand the whole moral of what comes around goes around. You know, at the end, the homeless man actually saves the family's life from being murdered um, by the rich people. Um, but, oh my god. Ugh, the son was so stupid. Literally, if you, if you change that entire character and found a different way, a different scenario for the man to get into the house, the movie would be way better. I, I actually... Don't ever imagine myself wanting to go back and watch this movie because of how annoying, how frustrating that son was. 
Um, what was his name? Uh, Charlie? I think it was Charlie. Oh my god, dumbest character. I actually wanted the son to die, I'm not even kidding. I don't care that he was a kid. And also the, the daughter was kind of idiotic as well when she kept running away after her boyfriend got killed. Why would she keep running away? There's maniac. There's a maniac loose in the house. Well, not a maniac, but you know what I mean. To them, he's probably a maniac. Um, oh my god. <sighs> Jesus Christ. This movie frustrated me. I, I, I don't like it. I know it's the first movie. And it's probably held to a higher standard by most fans, but I, I hated it. I, I honestly, well, I didn't hate it, but I hated that character. Oh, my God. Okay, anyways, let's move on to positive, okay? <laughs> Positives. All right, so coming in at third place is The First Purge. Now, this came out this year, and I imagine most people have this in last place, probably, just because it's not, like, it's not really as amazing, or not amazing, um, what's the word? It's not as, like... It's not, like, high in quality as the other movies. Like, it's still low budget, but, like, it's not, like, uh... I don't know. It's not really, like, a super, you know, uh, plot-driven movie or anything like that. Like, it's just kind of, like, a cheesy, you know, low-budget action movie, sort of. Um, but I actually really enjoyed this one. I like the idea of the first Purge. They actually, um, they just tested it in one uh, area, Staten Island. And, uh, I don't know. I kind of enjoyed the whole, you know... Um, side, or not side story, the, uh, well, yeah, I guess it is kind of a side story with all the characters and, you know, how the, the, the main guy, he kind of runs like a drug operation and, uh, I don't know, I, I kind of enjoyed the characters in this one. Um, they were very stereotypical, but I don't know, I, I had a fun time with it. Marissa Tomei didn't do much in the movie. And did you notice, too, the way her character was in this movie was kind of weird. Like, the first scene she was in where she's being, like, interviewed for, like, a news channel, you can tell that the background is green screen. I don't know what it was. Maybe Marissa Tomei wasn't available that day to be on a practical set. But she was literally, like, green screened in front of a crowd of people behind her. I don't know. It looks so fake. And then also the scene where her character is killed. Like, you don't even... It's just so abrupt. And, like, you don't even see her face. Like, it was probably, like, a body double or something. Like, it's shown on, like, surveillance footage randomly. I don't know. This movie was weird. But, um, I enjoyed it. Um, it was cheesy. And it was fun. Um, and I gotta say, the action sequences at the end of the movie, in the apartment, uh, yeah, the apartment building, where the guy, uh, I forget his name, the main character, he's like, he's pretty much Rambo, <laughs> and he's fighting the guys in the stairwell, that, that action was really great, um, I gotta say, I love the way that was shot, all the fighting and all the shooting and stuff, um, yeah, great action in this one, but, uh, yeah, I just like the idea that, uh, uh, how the first purge went, and that it was, at first, you know, it wasn't doing as well as they expected, you know, people weren't killing each other that much, except for the one lunatic, and then the, the evil government decides to send in more people, um, you know, to make it even more violent, um, different hate groups and whatnot, so yeah, I, I enjoyed that, um, and I, I gotta get it, when I talk about election year, which is next, I will talk about the whole political metaphor that I actually really find interesting in this series, but uh, yeah, the first purge is in uh, third place for me. I actually enjoyed this a lot more than most people. Um, yeah, better than the first movie in my opinion. Okay, so coming in in second place is going to be the purge election year. Excuse me. So I actually noticed people don't like this one as much. They actually have it lower on their lists. Um, now for me, I I I actually really enjoyed this one. Um, most people will probably think I'm crazy for having it this high. Um, I think because the plot gets a little complicated, like most third movies in a trilogy do, um, things get convoluted, a lot of things are going on, like the first movie is very basic, the second movie is also a little more expanded upon, but it's still a basic movie, but the third one, Election Year, just really complicates things, there's a whole political side of the story and different storylines going on, a uh, cat and mouse game, um, with certain, uh, uh, I guess hate group uh, trying to track down this woman running for president and stuff. Um, but yeah, just a very awesome movie in my opinion. Like, okay, so I mentioned earlier the whole political thing. Now, I before going into this series, I didn't know that there was going to be a um, fictional third party. You know, we got Democrat, Republican in real life, but now there's a fictional third party called the New Founding Fathers of America. And they're the ones that established the purge or whatever. 
And I like the whole political metaphor of that because, um, now I don't want to get into politics really, but if you're a Republican or a right-wing person, um, I don't mean to offend you in any way, but um, obviously the New Founding Fathers are meant to represent that ideal. They're meant to represent the whole Donald Trump ideal, I guess you could say, because this came out literally in an election year of 2016. Um, it's an exaggerated version of Republican ideals of, of uh, you know, extreme um, ideals of, you know, right-wing ideals. Like, it's, it's what it is. You can tell in this movie that's who they're targeting. Um, and again, I can understand if you get offended by that, if you are a Republican or whatever. You know, I don't, I don't mean to offend anybody. And I don't really identify as either one, as Democrat or Republican. I'm not very political, period. But um, I would say aspects of both parties are good, actually. Um, I'm kind of somewhere in the middle. Maybe I might lean towards more towards the left, the Democratic side. But, you know, I, I have to admit, I love the way that they handled the whole idea of making Republicans look evil, I guess, as antagonists. Um, and I'm not trying to say you are evil, but you get what I'm saying. Like, that's what the movie was intending. Um, that's the whole metaphor. And I really like that idea. Um, so yeah, I like the idea too that the whole purge ended, the whole purge idea ended at the end of this movie. So it was a true third movie in a trilogy. Now I know they made a fourth one, but that's actually a prequel. So yeah, um, it's really cool how they handled that. And also, I gotta mention, I haven't mentioned yet, Frank Grillo's character, uh, Sergeant Barnes, he's awesome. I love his character. That's why my number one and number two are the two movies that his character were in. Um, he's amazing. Great action. Um, he plays the character very well. He's kind of similar to the Punisher. Um, but in this movie, I love the fact that he became security for, you know, the future president of the United States. And, uh... Yeah, just he did a great job as like her bodyguard and stuff, and it was really, really amazing movie in my opinion. So I know a lot of people probably don't like this one because it's very convoluted, um, coming off of the second movie especially. Um, but yeah, I really enjoyed it, and I love the metaphor of you know the new founding fathers are pretty much Republicans on <laughs> to the tenth degree or the nth degree, whatever you say. Um, but yeah, election year, I really enjoyed this one. Okay. Now, my number one choice is probably everybody else's number one choice, The Purge Anarchy. Now, if you watch my unboxing for these videos, you, you'll notice that I say, okay, I heard, I haven't, I haven't heard anything about these movies, but I always hear that this is the best one. And, yeah, it's true. It really was the best one. Excuse me. Um, this is actually the only one I've gone back to rewatch a couple times. The other ones I only watched once. Um, the first movie, that's probably, <laughs> that's probably all I'm ever going to watch it is once. I'm never going to watch it again, maybe. Because I hated that one character. But, um, yeah, this one I've already rewatched re a couple times. Um, it's a very easy movie to watch. It's very simple. But I do love that, you know, after coming off the first movie, you got to see what it was like out on the streets. They actually had a higher budget, obviously, with this one. So, for the second movie, you actually got to see the actual purge happen in real time. Instead of, you know, people trapped in a house. Um... So that aspect was really cool, and like I said, Frank Grillo was great in this. Um, his whole story with wanting to get revenge and all that, and the whole moral um, dilemma. But yeah, very fun, action-packed movie. Um, Frank Grillo is definitely the best part of it. Um, yeah, I don't have much else to say. Just really, really awesome movie. Um, if they ever make another uh, Purge movie, like a... A fifth one that takes place after election year. I hope they bring his character back. Um, I'm so glad they didn't kill him off. Um, but yeah, that's about it. So there's my ranking from the the best one to the worst one. So let me know what you guys uh, think of my ranking. How do you rank them? Um, do you agree with my opinions on uh, Charlie from the first movie? I, I hope everyone does because, oh my god, I, I really wanted to rip my hair out. Oh, God. <laughs> Anyways, uh, yeah, thanks for watching this, guys. Um, this video went long, way longer than I was expecting, but uh, that's about it. So, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.